Hello, I'm Wayne Bruff, HDB Ornamentals Knowledge Exchange Manager, and welcome to Staplehurst Nurseries, one of the host sites for the work we are funding on regulated water deficit irrigation. This is a technique to precisely manage the irrigation levels applied to a crop to produce a controlled stress and keep plant growth in check without resorting to or minimising the use of plant growth regulators. Method has been used in a wide variety of crops, but as you can see today, uh, we're in a poinsettia crop where it's been currently applied to. Uh, the work itself is, is, is currently looking at the application and use of uh, sensing equipment, which is uh, scattered amongst the crop today. Uh, and we're trying to achieve growth control on a commercial bench or on crop without resorting to chemicals. Hello, I'm Marcel Frank from Safe Plus Nurseries, and as you can see, we're here in the uh, Ponsettia crop. Um, we're now coming to the point where we're starting to market, and one of the big questions on this trial is the quality and shelf life performance of the plants uh, after marketing. Um, got one here for you to show. As you can see, it's a nice bushy plant. One of the big issues that we have is the uniformity of the plants. Um, no spikiness and that's been um, a concern to a lot of growers but as you can see uh, across the crop it's we've managed to um, keep the quality at quite a high level. We found last year in the shelf life trials that the lower leaf drop was considerably reduced um, and we found that that was a uh, of an almost direct response to the RGI treatments that we gave and our experience over the last couple of years is that Ponsettias are actually extremely drought tolerant and you can dry them back to, ex to an extreme level and they will come back and still give you a good quality plant. We've always traditionally grown on the dry side most of our crops and with the Ponsettias now, we've taken it to uh, another level. Um, and one of the benefits we've found is uh, better root development. And as you can see here, if we knock one out, that's got a nice level of root development there. And we also find that uh, this year in particular, we did struggle to get the cuttings to grow away and, and to get the roots down. And we found that when, as soon as we started to really dry them back, that, that really helped to get the roots growing and get them developed. So that worked really well for us. This is just a quick overview of the shelf life work undertaken on the water deficit work. About 10 days now, 10 days ago now, these plants arrived up from Marcel Frank, where he'd been growing the, the trials down there. I um, received them boxed and sleeved, then we held them for the period, and then a week ago we removed the sleeves, and we continued the quality assessments that we take on these plants. And by that means we're recording the overall quality that we see of the plant, as well as the detailed assessments on leaf yellowing, leaf drop, looking at the brack coloration, and the staging of the cyathia as they begin to senesce or being lost from the plant. So we've got, what we've got here, about 24 plants, which are fully sort of randomised. Uh, we don't know what the treatments were. We, everything is labelled, so we track that through. And we have the sensors supplied with the plants that are monitoring RH and uh, the temperature under these conditions. They're all pretty uniform. Um, so we do the weekly scores, and really this continues to just the other side of Christmas when we do a summary uh, and send this data back down for uh, presentation. So... Just goes to show, yeah, the work is continuing. And at the moment, can I see any differences? I'm sure if I duck down, there'll be some details, differences maybe in Scyther and the bleaching. But yeah, from a product quality view overall, they all look good. Um, I've got no sort of significant differences at this stage that I can see.